Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I just finished working out and I'm trying to look like a decent normal human being. I decided to go down and try this new, well it's not new but I've been seeing this Indian restaurant nearby and we decided to try like their snacks for today. For some reason we were craving for Indian foods. So House of Ginger did not have any more snacks left and we couldn't order anything. So now we are gonna go to a different cafe and check out their food. We just left the gas station cafe. It's so weird because we used to go there all the time and for some reason today they didn't have any of the food we used to order and also the staff the staff's different we didn't know them at all anyway we decided to just walk to another cafe it's like another 20 30 minute walk but the catch is they are the only cafe i think if not in sharjah in the uae that still sells for their hums shawarma <laughs> so we're gonna try it out because every time we pass by that cafe it's always packed a lot of people are always ordering so i hope it's worth it because it's a long walk and it's quite hot Nice. They didn't use garlic sauce. They used tahina sauce. It's like legit shawarma back in the day. It's so good. They're quite rare to find. There's all sorts of sea squirts. Okay, 
thank you so much. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so I wasn't able to vlog anymore yesterday because I was so tired. When I got home, I took a shower, ate samosas, and just literally passed out in bed. It was cloudy and gloomy yesterday, but it was so hot, and the weather is still the same until today. And I think there's supposed to be cloud seeding over this long weekend, like to ease the heat. And I hope it happens soon though because the weather outside is getting unbearable each day. Anyway, yesterday I went to my dad's office to visit him, right? And he gave me his iPad keyboard case. Thankfully, we have the same iPad, which is the iPad Air 4th generation. So he just doesn't like it and I think I know the reason why. Because this keyboard actually hangs loose. So if you want to work on your bed and you want to prop this on a pillow, it's not stable. But there is one thing that I really love about it is that you don't need any Bluetooth connections to use the keyboard. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to switch off my Wi-Fi and my Bluetooth, even my AirDrop connectivity, just to show you. So once the iPad is already encased, you can start typing. Which is pretty convenient if you ask me because at least you don't need to worry about having to connect it all the time. And then another thing that I like about it is the pencil attachment. So I don't like my pencil to be attached to my iPad the whole time especially if it's charged. So I just insert it into this pencil sleeve and voila! I'm done using my iPad. Just take this, close it. It's pretty convenient, right? This is the stand at the back, which you can adjust accordingly. It also has auto lock. Yeah. I like it actually. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, so for example, you're using your keyboard, right? And you want to hide this keyboard, you just fold it the other way, and it'll automatically disable. You literally won't be able to use it. There. Even if I type and press on the keyboard, it's not going to work. If you bring it back like this, it's going to work again. 
This is the Logitech keyboard and if you guys are interested, I'm going to leave the product information in the description box below. Okay, pal. 